Hello guys. Welcome to the channel Tech Hub. Amazon recently announced that the Amazon AC2 Mac instances for Mac OS. In this video I am going to show you the step by step procedure for launch and Mac instance in AWS. Few things you must know before install Mac instance. Mac instances are available only as bare metal instances on dedicated hosts. Currently Mac instances run either Mac OS Mojave or Mac OS Catalina. And currently Mac instances are available only few regions such as US East North Virginia, US East Ohio, US West Oregon, Ireland, Asia Pacific Singapore. If you don't have any dedicated host, you should allocate one. Before that, you need to check the dedicated host service limit because by default the limit is 0. You can raise a support ticket to raise the service limit. To raise a ticket increase the service limit. Log in to the console and click the support link on top right corner and click support center. Then click create case link. And click the service limit increase option. Then select limit type as AC2 dedicated host. Next select the region. Here select the one of the regions mentioned in the beginning. Then select the primary instance family as Mac 1 and the set the limit value to 1. Then add your short description and click submit. Next step, allocate dedicated host. Open AWS console. Then check and verify the region which the, the dedicated host is reserved. Open the services and click and open the AC2 console. Then click the dedicated host. In this console click allocate dedicated host. In the dedicated host settings window, you need to enter a name for identify the host. Then select the instance family as Mac 1 from the list. Next select the instance type as Mac 1 metal. And select the one of the availability zone. Then check the quantity. It is by default one. Leave the quantity as default. Finally click allocate. Oops, there is an error. This because of the lack of availability of instance type in the selected availability zone. So change the availability zone to another. Change the availability zone to another and try again. Yeah, fine. We are successfully allocated dedicated host. Next step, launch AC2 Mac instance. Click on instance menu. Then click launch instances. Here we can see the available Mac OSs. Select the version that you require. Here I am selecting the Catalina version. Here only available instance type is Mac 1 Metal. It have 12 CPUs and 32 GB of memory. Click next to configure instance. Make changes as your wish. Here I am changing the availability zone. You can see the tenancy on the dedicated host on by default because the Mac 1 Metal instance type must be launched onto a dedicated host. Then select the allocated dedicated host and click next to storage settings. Here you can change the disk size. Here I am continue with the default. Then click next. Here you can add tag. This is optional, but I am adding one tag. Entering tag name as name and the value set to Mac. Then click next to configure security group. Here I am changing the rule to SSH that only accessible from my IP. Then click review and launch. Verify your the settings and click launch. Here you can create a new key pair for Mac. 
If you already have one use that. I am downloading new key for my Mac. Then click launch instance. Now the instance is running. Click the instance ID to check the instance. These are the instance details such as instance ID, state, IP address and public DNS etc. To connect the instance, click action on the top and select connect. Select the SSH client tab. Here you can see the instructions and the command to connect the Mac instance over the SSH. Final step, connect the Mac instance using SSH and VNC. For connect the Mac instance, open the terminal and navigate to the directory where the key file is saved. Change the key file public access by the following command. You can copy the commands from the description. Then connect the Mac instance using SSH and public DNS. SSH command syntax added in description or you can copy from AC2 console. Then enter yes to confirm connection. We have successfully connected to the Mac instance over SSH. Next step to change the AC2 user password. After that run command to enable the VNC service to connect from the VNC client. Pasting the command that already I am copied. You can copy the command from the description. Then press enter. VNC service is now enabled. Let's connect the Mac instance using VNC client. Open VNC client and paste the public DNS or IP address. Then click enter. Click continue and enter the username as AC2 user and password. Then click OK. Now we are connected to the Mac instance over VNC. Enter the password once again to log in. We are successfully logged into the Mac machine. Let's check the system details. Thank you.